Hey guys, CB Tech here, and today I'm going to show you how to summon a super fast and super high jumping horse in Minecraft with command blocks. So the way we're going to be doing this with commands is we're going to be using attribute modifiers to change the max speed that the horse can run and also the max jump height. So uh, we'll look at some commands um, for different things that we can do with uh, the horses here. So this first command that I have here is for a horse that just has a speed boost. Um, and if we look at the command here, it's just a summon command for a horse um, that is one block above the command block. And we can see here for the data tags, it's a tame horse, uh, tame one, and the variant is color zero. This is the, uh, the white horse, and you'll see what it is. I'll spawn it here in a second. Um, and, and I'll change these numbers throughout the video so you can see some of the different types of horses. Um, but the main thing here is these attributes. And next to attributes, we've got name generic dot movement speed. So this is the, the speed that it moves. Makes sense. Um, and the base for it is one. And uh, one is going to be significantly faster than the base speed for the uh, horse. So if we spawn one here, spawn it and you get a saddle and again since it's tame I can just go ahead and get right on it um, this is much faster than a normal horse as you can see but the jump height is still normal and you can change the speed and uh, also give it a jump boost so that's what this next command is it's a little more complicated it's the same thing except I've got variant 1 instead of 0 uh, so it's going to be a different color and in the attributes I've got the, the generic movement speed one, so the, the speed boost. And next to it, I've got jump strength, which is how high it jumps. So this one is base 10, um, and this is a pretty big improvement over the jump height. Again, I'm not sure what the, uh, the normal number is. Uh, I tried messing around with it. It's not just zero. It's, uh, it's a little weird, but uh, you just have to mess around with it. I found 10 to be the highest number that would work in here. Um, any higher, it would uh, it would still spawn the horse and give it a jump boost, but it wouldn't be any higher than 10. So uh, so let's spawn this one. Uh, again, it's a different color. Let's get a saddle, put it on here. Oh, it's running away from me. There we go. And this one's fast, just like the last one, and it also jumps pretty high. So again, this is the highest I could get it uh, with the attribute modifier. Um, but you can also use jump boost, um, and I'll get to that in a second. So let's move on to the next command. So this command is the same as the previous one. Uh, we've got the same thing, spawning a horse, except it's uh, variant 2, so it's going to be a different color. Uh, nothing else is different. Attributes are the same. We've got the, the speed boost as well as the jump boost. But there's a problem with that jump boost. Because the horse jumps so high, it, uh, it takes damage when it, when it falls and hits the ground. So I've added a potion effect to the end of this one. Um, so this is ID 11, which is resistance. This will basically enable it to take no damage whatsoever, no matter how high it jumps. Um, so the amplifier is five, so that will allow that to happen. Um, the duration is just a million, which basically will go on for as long as you ever need. And you can always spawn a new horse. Um, so that, I mean, that's pretty much it with this one. So I'll spawn this one here, put a saddle on it jump on it and you can see it's a different color than that one so uh, if we jump here we don't take any damage when we hit the ground and so you can see like the previous one here when we uh, jumped we took damage yep so that fixes that problem the only thing is you have these little uh, particle effects so this next command is uh, pretty much just the highest you would ever want to go with the horse I, uh, I basically just maxed out everything of course, I could go higher, but then it would be just completely ridiculous. It wouldn't even, you jump so high, it'd just take forever to fall back down. So we've got Summon Entity Horse again. Uh, this is Variant 3, a different one. We've got the same attributes, the Speed Boost, as well as, uh, or actually, what's different here is the Speed Boost is 3 instead of 1. So we will be going a lot faster um, in terms of its running speed. The Jump Boost is uh, the highest I can go, like I said before. 10 is the highest I was able to really see any difference. Um, and the the potion effects is what's different here. I've also got the resistance, so it won't uh, die when it hits the ground. Um, but I've also got ID 8, which is a jump boost. So 
I can jump higher than that max limit I was able to get before. So I've got amplifier of 80, um, again, the duration of 1 million. So this is going to jump pretty high. So let's spawn one of these, grab a saddle, and put it on. All right, so we have running speed. It's pretty quick. It's almost laggy because it's running too fast. So yeah, uh, it wasn't too laggy when I wasn't uh, recording here, but it's a little more laggy now that I'm recording. But uh, it's, it's all right, but it is pretty quick as you can see and the jump height let's jump as high as we can that wasn't as high as we can but you can see how high it goes it's kind of nuts uh yeah i don't think you'd ever need it this high so that previous one uh i think was probably a sweet spot um where you have the the resistance only for the only effect so yeah that's uh some different uh attribute modifiers and potion effects that you can apply the horses to make them do crazy things. Um, and there's also one other thing. If you wanted to be able to do it with a skeleton horse or a zombie horse, um, you can just type in the command in here. We will just add at the beginning. We're just going to add type. And I believe it's four for a skeleton. If you put that at the beginning, done. We should have a skeleton horse with the same effects. Where did he go? Okay, he just moved over here. Ah, oh, he's running away from me. Come back here. Quick saddle. There we go. Yep, and now we have a skeleton horse that does all these things. If you want to know how to do a zombie horse and other things like that, I will put a link in the description for that video. And also you can click on the eye in the top right corner there for that video as well. But uh, otherwise, uh, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Have fun messing around with uh, these horses and stuff. And uh, I will see you in another video. Thanks for watching.